Hi guys, it's Tim from Advancing Car Technologies and today we're doing a very quick run, view, run through slash review of the Audi Apple CarPlay on a 2018 vehicle. We try and do a new one each year just to see what's different. So we're in a 67 plate Audi S3, only a couple of weeks old. Uh, we fitted the reversing camera and um, the external door warning lights uh, for this customer because it didn't come with it from factory. So first and foremost, You've got to have Audi smartphone. It's got to be enabled but from the factory or by the dealer. If you click in, it says it needs activating. You need to go to your dealer to get that license key. So, Apple iPhone 10, USB cable, goes into USB 2. You can see it's starting to work. It's charging. It will come up saying CarPlay, we'll lock the screen, and that's what we want. It transplants all the info onto your screen. You can't touch it for obvious reasons, but you use the big rotary knob that's down here, just out of view, and you've got your phone, music, maps, messages, now playing back to your MMI screen, podcasts, audiobooks, iPlayer radio, Spotify, and TuneIn radio. So very quickly, just running through, your last apps that you used are just along here on the right-hand side. Uh, push the home button using the rotary knob to go back to the main screen. So first and foremost, phone. It will ask for the Siri voice control and that's why it's reflecting to my voice but if you just want to go in you can click show contacts. There's your favourites, all the normals, uh, recent, contacts, keypad if you want to dial it in and obviously you set your voicemail up as well. As I mentioned to get back to your home screen push that. Apple Music if you've got it or whatever music stored on your phone you will get your album artwork in the background can quickly skip through that or I can use my controls on the steering wheel um, to be able to flick through what track I want to go through. So let's come out of this. Apple Maps, pretty cool bit of kit. Um, if you don't have navigation or and you just have CarPlay, it's a really, really good bit of kit. So as we zoom in, should show advancing car tech. There we go. And you can move up, down, left and right with your little jog wheel. As you start driving, you will get that 3D bird's eye view and the maps will try and take you to your normal destination. So if you go home or if you go to work or somewhere that it knows you go a lot, um, it will automatically route you to there. So you don't get any sort of overlays like you do with satellite view and Google Maps and all that sort of stuff. But it's definitely good. Messages, again, Would you it won't show you um, it won't show you on screen what they are, but it will read them aloud to you as and when you get them through. Um, that's just to help with the whole uh, distraction whilst driving, etc., etc. Now playing, uh, depending if you're using Spotify, TuneIn, whatever you are, that will take you to the last thing. Audi MMI takes you back to the screen, the main screen that you know, and you can click back in. Podcasts and audiobooks, pretty standard stuff. So if you don't have DAB or you just want a better stream quality, then you can go to iPlayer Radio. Um, it will come up with your, I think it's your most recent stations on here. I haven't really used this one because it's quite a new app, but from memory, it, give, it once it loads up, it gives you all your favorites that you've been listening to recently and all that sort of stuff. Spotify, pretty simple. What you've been listening to recently, your playlists, all that sort of stuff. Go in here and away we go. We skip it through. Again, you've got all your controls from both your MMI and your steering wheel. If you've got a virtual cockpit like this car does, it all comes up on the left-hand side of the screen. So if we come out of there, you've got your browse, you've got all your radio stations, a bit similar to the Apple Music stuff that's going on. Uh, tune in. If you want a really different type of... Um, I think the reason this isn't opening up is because I haven't opened the app up and authorised it for CarPlay. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. So you, if you listen to some really obscure radio station in Germany, for instance, you can go into Recents. Das Hits is quite a popular one for people in the UK to listen to. Uh, listen to a bit of the old Christmas there. Uh, there you go, Das Hit Radio. Um, German radio station, but through the art of your Wi-Fi or your 3G data, you can stream this, any internet radio song or internet station that's out there. So that's that's playing in the background now. And so yeah, that's the uh, 2018 Audi
CarPlay, Apple, and CarPlay, and Apple CarPlay interface. Um, it's going to be exactly the same across the range, but in particular, we're using it on a, an Audi S3 2018. At the moment, we can't retrofit it or activate it. It's a main dealer option only, but it's just for those who want to have a quick look at how it all works, how it feels, the new 2018 version, because there are little updates here and everywhere. Any questions, just comment in the box below. Remember, if you do like our videos, subscribe and like the video. It really does help us out. And any questions, just ask. Thanks for watching.